What's up guys, today we've got a um, overview of our recording studio um, that we have at home, or rather the uh, the recording equipment that we use. Um, so we're just going to go over um, a lot of the stuff that we have in the rack here um, and show you a little bit of what it does. Uh, just uh, hope to um, give you a little insight into um, what it all is, what we can achieve, and uh, maybe even you guys might even want to uh, think about uh, purchasing some of this stuff for your own studio. Um, I hope that it gives a, a good um, overview of how it works. So the first thing we have um, up on the top here, you can see um, these are uh, receivers for wireless mics. Um, so there's a few of them uh, up there. I can actually get um, my five of them all on different channels. Um, so right now I'm just using one unit uh, to demonstrate this. Um, so you can actually see that is the one that is lit up uh, back there. Um, so <coughs> that's what we have on the top. So then let's um, I'll just go for an overview of what they all are real quick from top to bottom. So on the very very top um, we just have a blank plate because that's a, that's a slot that we haven't filled up yet. Uh, then underneath that um, is the Behringer um, recording interface, and it actually has four um, XLR um, and uh, quarter-inch combi jacks. So you can actually plug in uh, four things simultaneously. And if you can uh, see right there, I actually have um, two things plugged into it right now. Um, and then let's uh, see if we can get a little bit of a closer look for you. There we go. Um, so uh, you can see that I've actually got uh, two things plugged in. One's XLR and one's quarter inch, just to demonstrate how uh, the jack's actually a, a combination. Um, so uh, as we come across the interface, um, you'll actually see uh, all the different controls on the front of it. Um, so there's uh, for um, volume controls, gain controls, there's the buttons uh, for um, transitioning between um, instruments, uh, and uh, line devices, high Z and low Z, uh, and then obviously the uh, the pad for each channel. Um, then you can uh, also uh, make it um, mono, um, and uh, you can also um, send out a mix to um, A and B monitors as well. Um, and you can uh, use the headphones for monitoring as well at the same time. So quite a powerful little device, it's USB 2. It also has four insert jacks on the back of it, um, which actually allow you to run d things like um, what we have underneath here, um, the compressor, the effects unit, um, and uh, other devices as well, so you can actually input. I'm actually using com um, compressor and uh, my vocal exciter right now, which I'm just about to show you. Um, that's underneath the Behringer uh, with the uh, cool blue lights on it. Um, so each one of these units underneath has two channels. Um, so I can run any of these on channel one and channel two. And that will allow me to actually uh, create um, channel three and channel four as raw input. Um, so if I want to do um, any after editing or something like that. So let's have a closer look at this. Um, top uh, long unit here is the Behringer vocal, um, Vocalizer Exciter. Um, so you can actually change, basically it allows you to uh, add a lot of bass, um, treble, um, dynamics basically uh, to, the, um, to the vocal chain that you wouldn't normally get uh, from uh, conventional um, equalizers. So it combines more um, of, a, of a deep kind of radio tone as you can hear from my voice. Um, it has uh, more of a radio kind of quality to it. Um, so it just gives some depth, some nice um, feel to the to the voice and uh, you can also apply it to instruments as well if you want to do that. Um, anything really that requires a little bit of extra oomph um, and uh, a vocal um, or uh, um, excitement basically um, is what it will do. Um, so you can apply that to the left channel, the right channel or a stereo channel. Um, so that's basically what that does. Now underneath we have a compressor right here. Um, and I'm going to have links to all of this stuff as well below so you can actually check out the full specifications. I'm just running over what we have. 
and so uh, the compressor allows us to uh, compress out background noise, um, any hiss, um, the air conditioner that we have running as well in the background. Um, you know, it allows us to chop all that sort of stuff out. And uh, we actually have a fish tank, uh, which if I disable the compressor, you'd be able to hear it. Um, so uh, <laughs> that that helps to uh, to take the, the sound of the fish tank out. Um, so we can set the uh, the attack. Um, we can set the threshold and and uh, all that uh, uh, extra stuff that the compressor actually allows us to do to enhance the uh, the sound. Uh, you can probably see there the peak meter is going crazy um, as it's actually compressing my voice right now. Um, so let's move on further down here. We actually have the Behringer 3D Virtualizer. Um, this is an effects unit. Um, it has tons and tons and tons of different effects. I'm actually not going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate that for you right now, but uh, in a future video I will actually go over this um, as well as all these these other ones and you can hear the differences in what they actually do. Um, so uh, as you can see right here, um, it's got the display screen which is going to tell you the number and everything that it's on. You actually have to look in the book to figure out what it's actually uh, each setting is because it, it's done by numbers. Um, and uh, so it, it can get a little, you have to remember which one's which, but um, I found my favorite ones and um, you can actually just um, you can actually just uh, change those um, over on the right hand side of the unit there's a, a, a wheel uh, and some other buttons and so on. Uh, they're very, very customizable actually. Uh, for example, like a delay, you can load up a delay into here and then you can actually change uh, how much of a delay you want. So it can be from a, like a couple of milliseconds up to like a few seconds. So it's very customizable. Um, and it's the same with the pitch shift and um, any reverb or um, other types of echo, uh, it has distortion, it has a compressor limiter built in if you wanted to use that function, um, it has uh, a dual layer um, effects too, so you could actually apply say um, reverb and pitch shift, uh, something like that which is actually quite interesting. There's also some fun effects on there too that make you sound like a robot and you know different things like that. Um, so we like playing around with it anyway. Um, it's it's good fun to use, and it can also add some uh, excitement and um, variability to uh, songs and recordings and so on. Um, and it, it can actually help with uh, dryness in the vocal. You put a little bit of reverb in there, some stereo reverb, and it helps to widen out the track and make it not sound so dry, a little bit of damp. So next thing is my power conditioner. This is with all the red um, switches on it. These are the ones that are powered on right now, as you can see. Um, so uh, that just makes sure that all the equipment stays safe. It takes out a lot of electrical harm as well. Um, and uh, any lightning um, strikes or anything that come through, uh, and, and it won't damage any of the equipment that's in here. Um, so that's basically what that is. I can plug um, up to eight uh, different sources into here. And then finally, underneath here, let me show you real quick, is my drawer. So this is a 2U drawer. I keep microphones in here, as you can see right here. Here's one. There's actually bunches of them in there. Um, and the cool thing about it is it has a little lock. So I can lock it and keep little hands out as well. <laughs> so it's very useful. Um, this is a 2U drawer. It just screws um, straight into the rack um, and um, it actually goes very far back, it's very deep um, and uh, I, I just use it to store microphones basically um, and uh, that's pretty much it, brings you to the end of our rack um, we have a bunch of other stuff too, we have uh, guitars, we have um, a cajon, we have um, uh, various sort of percussion instruments but we're actually going to have another video up um, to uh, to show all of that stuff too so anyway, um, I hope this hasn't been too long for you guys. Uh, I hope it's given you a bit more of an overview of what we can actually do, um, what kind of sound we can produce when we put our minds to it. Uh, and um, just a, a quick word, uh, this video was actually filmed by the Mevo camera. Uh, that's how I was able to cut to different parts of uh, 
the uh, the rack like this, like I'm doing right now, right now, uh, live, and I can show you exactly what we're doing, um, which is very cool. We can have up to nine virtual cameras, and so on, um, controlled by the iPad. So um, why don't you guys go and check out my video on the Mevo, and you'll be able to see uh, exactly what that can do too. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and um, share. And also, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, just uh, post a comment and I'd be more than happy to help.